Hey guys, do you want to know how to add a gun deal to your game? Just like this. Well, today, I can show you. Hey guys, so we're back with a, another video, and we're going to jump straight into this video. So, first we're going to want to do, okay, is go to the Microsoft Store, okay, and download a app that I have made and developed called Gloom Tools UEFN. Okay, uh, and just sign up. As you see here, you can sign up and stuff. And just sign up, you'll get 10 credits for free each month. So, uh, all we gotta do, okay, when, once you downloaded it, is just open it up, okay? And you'll have 10 credits, but I only have nine right now. So, uh, what we're gonna want to do, okay, is we have a gun game script right here, okay? So, all we gotta do, okay, is go to browse, all right? And what we're gonna want to do is go to our where our project is located and here right here this is my project gun game tuck and there's the content folder so we just click content and press ok and there we go we connected that to the app and then all we got to do is double click this folder right click it you want to download everything yes i do want to download everything in the folder and boom okay you're good to go so you do lose a you do lose a credit all right but that's okay so as we see right there it added it in and if you don't see it, just right click it right here and add a new verse file. Uh, and then it'll just show up automatic. Okay. So there it is. So before we uh, add in the devices and everything to make it work, I just want to explain some part, uh, parts of the script. So you could skip ahead of this if you want. There will be timelines in the video. So as we see here, we have a player class uh, and that stores our gun stages privately in the player. Okay, and then we just have a player map to store all the player classes and all that. And then these are some at editables, I'll explain those later. And then here, this is where we just check when the player joins. And instead of using spawners, I learned that you could just use events inside of verse. Uh, so I've been doing that now. So there's player added event, player removed event. Uh, this is just for NPCs if you want NPCs to work. Okay, uh, that function up there. And then on player spawn, you could probably tell what this does. Uh, it just takes the player class, puts it into the player map, and it also gives the player their first weapon. Okay, and then we subscribe to a limited event instead of using a loop or anything like that. Uh, and as we see here, it just gets here. It checks who the eliminated player was, uh, and it checks if they're not equal to the one who eliminated the person. And then it sets them plus ones their gun stage, okay? And then it grants them the item. And then if, there is also another option, it's called if you want to lose the gun when you die, okay? So basically, if someone kills someone else, it will take off their gun, and it'll go down by one stage. And that's what's happening here, okay? It just sets their gun stage minus one, okay? And then we also have this function here for character reach max. So if you want like the game to end when the player you reaches the max um, gun stage, then you can do that here. You could just add it in right there, okay? And then we just have a player remove to remove them from the player map once they left the game, all right? And that's basically it for the scripts, okay? Uh, you can look into this even further and see everything I do, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, so I'm gonna go into the content browser, and I'm gonna go into my content folder, and we're gonna drag out gun game manager device. And as we see, we have max gun stage, so you can set the max stage that they can reach. This should be the same amount of item granters, okay inside of this array right here uh we also have test npc that is a for a guard spawner device to test it out or you could just use it uh if you want and there's also an option works on npcs so if you want to test it you should probably attach the guard spawner device and put works on npcs and then there's also infinite gun game so let's say the player reaches the last gun stage then it will repeat and it'll go on infinitely okay there's also lose gun stage on death so let's I, I already explained that one right so if let's say someone else kills another player the person who died will lose a gun stage all right there you go so for my testing i'm just gonna put only three mass gun stages and i'm gonna add three item granters into the array okay so then we press all over here and we search up item granter and we just drag it out okay and i'm gonna tell you how to set this up so we're gonna do okay is we're gonna do clear inventory and a current item and what we're gonna want is to put a gun inside of here so i'm gonna put like a um a very bad weapon let's put a cross a crossbow okay so let's put level three crossbow and then we want to equip granted item and then what we also want is to put weapon ammo 
if you don't have infinite ammo on in your item island settings then we could duplicate this put this right here we could change the weapon to uh i don't know um what what's something that's kind of cool uh let's put a boom bow or yeah boom bow and then we can duplicate this and let's say the last weapon they get is um what's a really cool weapon to use i guess let's use the ray gun uh, yeah the Ch chimera ray gun let's do level five and there you go so then we can go to our gun game manager and we could just select these i drop this one we could i drop this next one and then i drop this one okay and boom there you go and obviously we want to test this out so what we're gonna do is go to all here and we're gonna search up guard spawner we're gonna put it right there okay and there we go so we're gonna give them a item let's give them a sword or actually i don't know if we could give them a sword so let's just give them um something let's give them a shotgun okay let's give them a uh combat shotgun or no double barrel shotgun level four and also uh i'm actually a pro at the game that's not true uh i'm gonna put yeah let's put accuracy high all right and we're gonna go to guard team option and we're gonna set it to wildlife and creatures and there you go so now we have our guards that are gonna spawn also i recommend just turning down the spawn timer because it's actually kind of slow and boom so now all we gotta do is go to our gun game manager and we just go to test npc i drop it again and we click guard spawner and there we go just like that we in like just like a few minutes uh we already have a gun game all set up so what i'm gonna do now is uh launch session and i will see you guys when that's done all right so we are in now all right so let's just start the game and it should be working yep and there we go we got a crossbow and boom so i'm gonna try to hit this guy here oh yeah ding ding and i boom i got a boom bow and i'm gonna Bing. and then a chimera ray gun boom and there we go it resets because it's infinite so we're gonna hit them okay why did i choose the loudest gun uh i'm gonna move away from that I'm gonna bing. and to show you that it works okay uh what i'm gonna do is respawn my character and i should lose a gun stage and which i actually did i'm on a crossbow now and obviously if i respawn a character when I have a crossbow, because that's just the first gun stage, so I can't lose my first gun stage, obviously. Um, and let's say I get more, right? Let's say I'm on the Camara Ray Gun, right? Okay, I can respawn and boom, and I lose it and I go down to the boom. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And Bluecraft is about inspiration and learning. <laughs>